Here, first, I would like to extend my warmest wishes for your new academic year for this organization, SSBB. Now, here, first, let me congratulate you all on the attaining of good results with high grades. As we all know, that the beginning of every new academic year will be an amazing. And here, we all feel the same amazement. Now, first, here I am talking about the new academic session. That means a new phase of your life means a lot of challenges. So, every child is different and unique. So, here, as your uniqueness of a child, here this institution is encouraging you all for the better giving shape for your future. So, I wish you all good luck and all the best for the new academic year. Now, we shall start the subject of economics. I have selected this group as C, E, C and M, E, C. Here, C, E, C is civics, economics, Economics is government. No. 
but economics is not all this. It relates to the human behavior and activities and human activities. Some people have defined economics in different ways. Now here I give you some definitions related to economics. Yeah, man. 
of course, the goods were not able to be stored or due to the difficulties. So, money came into evolution and now we use money as a medium of exchange. So, with money, we are able to carry on our economic activity. So, when we work, for any do any service or when we purchase any goods, this money only will be used as a medium of exchange. Now, coming to the banking, you must be learn about what banking is. You know what bank is. Now, what is banking? Bank is an institution which gives us loans and accepts our deposits. Whatever money we have, if we want to save our money, we can save it in the bank. Bank accepts our deposits. And when we are in need of money, or suppose we want to run on a business, so we want some business uh, loan and all, all these business loans can be given through bank. So bank accepts deposits and gives loans. So in this way, bank acts as a financial institution which helps for the upliftment of the business people. So all these business activities or personally or any people, those who are going to save money, so this bank accepts deposits and gives loans to the public. In this way, money and banking are interrelated. So whatever money we earn, we can save in the bank. Now next, impact of technology. Impact of technology is what? What is technology? Technology is a medium through which we are able to increase our production. We have now, see previously we have no cell phones. Now because of the cell phones, because of the uh, computer, internet and all, technology has been increased because of the big huge machines. We are increasing the production set. So in this way, this techno latest technology is helping us with the economic development. Now many, many people in the process of production are aware that because of the growing technology, we are able to communicate with people from one place to the other place. We are able to transport the goods from one place to the other place. In this way, due to the impact of technology, the production also has been increased. Now, next is coming to the standard 9. This is a very important children. For 9th standard, what all topics you have studied in class 9 are the basis for economics. All the important basic concepts, what we are going to learn in the intermediate first year, are being covered in your 9th standard. Now, coming to industries in India, you will be having an idea of what an industry is. Industry is a place where Raw materials are transformed into produced goods or intermediary goods or semi-finished goods. So in this uh, industry, we are transforming the raw materials into finished goods. So in this industry, what happens? We are producing all the goods, raw materials, as such see cotton. Cotton has to be uh, transformed into cotton textile. So how do you do? The process have you, or the process of flowcharts have been given in your ninth class. Textbooks. You are going through the textbook once, so you will know what concepts are there in industries in India. Now we have different types of industries like genetic industry, metallic, uh, metal, metallic industry, then we have a uh, fishing industry. So in this way, we have different types of industries. All these are been given in detail in your class nine. So this will be helpful for your commerce as well as economics. Now next is service sector. Now, what is the service sector? We have three sectors in our economy. Agricultural sector, industrial sector and service sector. All the three sectors have been covered in your ninth standard. Now, coming to the service, what is the service? When you are producing goods, you are physically showing what good is being produced. The service is nothing but a service given by a teacher, doctor or any other professional who have been giving their services in order to satisfy the human want. When we are sick, we go to a doctor. Doctor will treat us. That means he is giving service to us. First man who brings letters. In this way he is giving a service to you. A teacher, he, te he teaches you with the knowledge. That means he is giving a knowledge. What knowledge is giving, what doctor is treating will not be seen because they are not physically produced goods. These are all the services which are rendered to the people in order to satisfy our own. Only when we are sick we will go to doctor. Or else we won't go. When we need some knowledge we go to a teacher. So in this way, all the people who are engaged in the services are all directly in the service sector. Now because of the service, you must be seeing many people are giving their services in the offices and all. So what they are doing, sitting in a place, they are giving you all what all we want at home. 
now you are getting electricity how do you get electricity it's been generated but it has been given from the by the sun is given by the electricity pool water you are getting water how what the water so sitting at home we are enjoying the benefits which are given by the people who are engaged in the service sector so in this way all the people who are engaged in service sector they are giving services in order to satisfy the human wants not credit facilities now what is credit facility credit is what giving loan people who are in need of money they will be getting credit credit is nothing but what we are taking from the banks or any other money lenders and we have to repay it. this credit has to be repaid so in this way credit facility in this unit we have studied that how agricultural farmers are getting credit from the government for the purchase of fertilizers manures pesticides etc government is providing them loans in order to carry on our agriculture activity so in this way what type of credit the government is giving to the public but of the agriculture sector we know that agriculture sector has been declining nowadays so that's why what government is doing it is giving credit to the agricultural farmers so in this way we have credit facilities all the credit facilities how bank is giving we have small health groups we have pds and all all these have been in detail explained in your ninth standard now prices and cost of living now what is a price price is something which is being determined based on the production of the commodity whatever cost we are incurring in the production process that according along with the services given by the uh, organization will be regarded as price so every commodity has its own price the price of all the commodities is not the same so every commodity has a different price when the price of the commodity increases then the standard of living of the people also will be affected if price is more people will purchase less and if price is less people will purchase more so in this way when based on the prices based on inflation what is inflation inflation is nothing but general rise in price level so you know because of all these changes in the price the cost of living of the people also changes the standard of living of a country also changes because of the changes in the price now in this pandemic time you must be listening outside people say that the indian economy is going down reduce it why because from past two months production has been stopped trade has been stopped people are not able to work so they have no money so in this way when people are not having money when the price of the commodities have been increased so definitely it affects our economy so that's why in order to prices have been increased due to the uh, production process and due to trade business many people have been stopped their business so here we are all this have been affected to our cost of living so because of all these we can say that the economy of our country is been like only because of this pandemic time of corona now government budget and taxation sex point what is budget budget is nothing but the revenue and expenditure so whatever taxes we pay to the government is an income for the government so government receives income in the form of tax which is being paid by the citizens of our country so whatever taxes we are paying either indirect tax or direct tax nowadays direct tax is what what we are paying directly to the government for example house tax property tax gift tax all these are the direct taxes what we are paying to the government no that is direct what is indirect tax when we are purchasing goods and services or any services rendered for that we have to pay tax it will be inclusive in our price so when you purchase any commodity on it will be written inclusive of all taxes that means it is called as already the tax has been included included in your original price so that is called as indirect tax that means every person is liable to tax either directly or indirectly so whatever tax we are paying to the government is an income for the government government is running only with the tax which is paid by the people now with that whatever budget we have that means whatever income it is received and how much it is expending on the people now how government is spending this taxes on the public in this sense we have the uh, road facilities uh, transportations given by government government public sector companies and uh, uh, sanitation electricity street lights all these are the services given by the government for the public facilities so they are giving so many uh, uh, facilities for the government so in the people so in order for the day to day life so we have we can see that whatever taxes have been uh, collected by the government will be spent for the welfare activities of the public now what is taxation tax as i told you all this will be divided into two types of taxes that is direct tax and indirect tax now now here indirect taxes nowadays we have included gst now gst has become a common tax for everyone the full form of gst is goods and service tax so 
academic year. In order to step in the new, we have to look after what have we have studied in the past. So this 8th, 9th and 10th standard uh, social studies is very much important not only for economic student but also for the civics as well as for your commerce. Because trading, transportation, business, finance have all been detailed discussed in your classes 8th, 9th and 10th. You are not take it lightly when you are selecting the group as CEC or MEC. It is necessary for you all to go through whatever you have studied in the basic high school. That's why teachers in the high school they always tell you these are the basics for your future. So we always at the turning point where you are learning and when you come to the intermediate, here also we also have an experience with it. And this all again will be helpful for your future, which will shape your future in the better prospects. You can take up the goal whatever you want to achieve based on the all concepts. You cannot just go through and say that it is over. No, every step is linked. Every set of education has been interlinked till you come to your education and there is no end for education. You can carry on your education till the end. That means every day we learn something new. Every time whenever we are in any activity, maybe you are working, you are at home or you are watching anything, you will be learning something or the other new. So this helps us to in order to step in future, we have to look after the past. Carry on that means we have to please do. Go through what we have studied. Now is a better time, children, for you all because as we are this or because of this pandemic situation, you are at home, you are getting better time. So let's spare some time and see that you can go through all this 8 and 9 standard textbooks where you can score above 95% in your intermediate, which will be helpful for your future because these certificates, these groups, and these percentages are more important for your better jobs. Now, Coming to the 10th standard, in this we have Rampur village. You must have been studying in your 10th class. Now in a Rampur village, how the people in the village, the land and how it has been distributed among the different laborers and all has been clearly given. So how the land from the landlord have been distributed and how we are going to produce the land using the process of production. Now what is production? Producing of goods with the help of raw materials. So using the raw materials, we try to produce the goods. In this, we have four factors of production. Land, labor, capital, and organization. Now, here, for the process of production, we need land. Land without land, we cannot cultivate the crop. Without land, we cannot uh, have an industry. So land is a basic and the land is a free gift of nature. So with this land, we are able to produce our commodities. Next is labor. Labor is for the person who works on land or any work given by the by labor. It is any work given, any effort, physical or mental efforts. Whatever the laborers apply in the process of production is called as labor. This labor is again divided into three types. We have three types of laborers. They are skilled laborers, semi-skilled laborers, and Production or 
materials all come under capital and the organization is when you produce a commodity that has to be given some name now suppose tata company has been producing some commodities so tata company will give its own name not we have tata salt tata 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 car all these so different way whatever goods are being produced they will be giving their own organization name now suppose next we have uh,
concept and it will be useful for you to know what concepts you are learning and how it is being linked and you know, all these descriptions will be given to you all in detail here. So you all go through all these subjects of 8, 9 and 10 and we we'll see you in the next class.